Now I'm going to do a, a set of videos and this is by request as well um, going over some of the uh, basic uh, designs in antennas uh, the ones that are proven to work and uh, the good starter points for a lot of the antennas that I in particular build and uh, the first antenna basic that I'm going to take a look at today is a simple uh, single element uh, panel antenna or patch antenna and this is going to be for uh, 2.4 uh, gigahertz but um, the uh, calculator that I use for this and I'll put a link in the description to that calculator you can put uh, any frequency you like in there and just with the methods that I'm going to show you in this video just use those methods to build an antenna for any frequency you want to now I've got all my uh, measurements and diagrams here that I've uh, written down that I'm going to be using to uh, help me build uh, this particular antenna and uh, I'll have a close-up on the screen now so you can pause it at any point and take uh, notes yourself if you want to but this is a panel antenna really 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 simple panel antenna um, it's uh, got a basic impedance tab to uh, bring the VSWR down a little bit uh, there are a couple of other simple ways of doing that uh, and again uh, you know once you've mastered building something as simple as this then you can expand on that possibly with the uh, feed tab the impedance there you can look at uh, having uh, a tapered design or some other kind of design that uh, works to bring that impedance down even lower but uh, this design is going to get you uh, running out of the gate build uh, your first uh, antenna if you haven't tried building one of these before and build one that actually works now I'm about to uh, start copying my uh, antenna onto the uh, brass here. You can see I've put some masking tape on to make it a little bit easier. Now as far as these measurements are concerned we can round some of these numbers up or, or down in some cases but both of these numbers are going to round up. So we've got 52.94 millimeters there for the uh, length but I also want to incorporate the length of the uh, fee point here which is here. Now the entire length of the feed point is 15.6 millimeters it's actually double this 7.8 millimeters and we're cutting in here 7.8 millimeters so I want to add on at least 7.8 millimeters to this length here so then I can uh, draw that and cut that out uh, on the bandsaw or with tin snips whatever you're going to use we can also add a little bit more on because we can cut this to the correct length when we get everything else cut out of there and so the first line that I'm going to draw is this top line here taking the length into consideration I'm using uh, the uh, nice right angle piece on this brass just to make it easier for me so I'm going to measure from the bottom here I'm going to measure 62 millimeters and draw a line across there and that'll give me that little bit of extra to play with as I said at the end so now that I've got my uh, length line drawn I need to uh, complete this by uh, measuring the width of uh, this particular antenna and the width according to the measurements are 61.18 millimeters I'm just going to round that up to 61.2 millimeters so I'm going to measure in from the side here 61.2 millimeters put a little mark and then draw a line with my set square and if you're using a ruler you know if you're out by you know 0.5 of a millimeter with an antenna like this you don't have to worry too much about that now next I want to put uh, a measurement line back on the uh, length of this again and now I'm going to stick to the measurement as I said I'm rounding this up to uh, 53 millimeters I've got 53 millimeters uh, on my calipers here what I'm going to do is uh, put a little mark there and then use my set square to draw a line across the bottom now I want to find the center of this shape so I can draw a center line down the middle and that will allow me to as a guide for me to build off so uh, I can measure out the feed point here directly in the middle of the uh, element and by far the easiest way to find the center of this is to just draw lines corner to corner and then uh, put a little point there and then use the set square to draw a line straight up the middle now that we've got our little point there at 7.8 millimeters and that's uh, how much we need to cut 
into this element to get that shape um, I put a little mark there and what we're going to do now is uh, mark out two lines that's for our feed point here that needs to be five millimeters thick between five and six millimeters is what you want to aim for so I want to measure uh, from either side of this line 2.5 millimeters 2.5 millimeters and then draw this section here that we're going to use to help guide us on the bandsaw to cut this out and when I measure this using my calipers you can see I'm coming in at 5.2 millimeters which is uh, you know probably about as spot on as you can get doing these measurements by hand that's why uh, you know I think really when you go uh, beyond uh, 5 gigahertz it you know it gets really difficult to do this kind of thing by hand and uh, etching is really the only way to go but uh, I'm going to uh, use that black line cut dead in the center of that black line with my bandsaw blade and then I should get exactly uh, five millimeters but as I've said six millimeters five between five and six millimeters is fine so this is what I'm going to cut out on the uh, bandsaw this is waste so I'm going to be cutting that out as well there and then uh, we've uh, cut out the uh, main driven element for this uh, very basic panel antenna it's really that simple element is uh, cut out and what I need to do now is just trim a little bit off this feed point here uh, remember this wants to be 7.8 millimeters here from this edge so I just need to trim a little bit of excess off there I've also gone ahead and uh, cut out the uh, back reflector this back reflector is uh, 75 millimeters by 18 millimeters just uh, fits everything nice and uh, centered in the middle there nice and even but uh, you know the reflector is something you can play around with make it a little bit bigger if you wanted to 100 millimeters by say 95 millimeters for instance uh, just possibly get a bit more forward gain out of it but as i say that's something you can play around with Now that I've drilled the holes in the uh, front main driven element of this antenna I can use those holes as a uh, template to drill holes in the back reflector. Now that we're coming to the uh, end of this build we need to uh, consider how we're going to connect to this so we can actually use it as an, an antenna and uh, in this build I'm going to use a short length of uh, copper here a little pigtail with an SMA connector crimped on one end you could also use one of these uh, little uh, PCB edge connectors this is an SMA designed to fit in between some PCB and because this brass is only 0 0.5 millimeters thick fits on there quite nicely you can just solder it onto uh, one end uh, on the back there you don't need to worry about these two legs here in fact you could remove those and you can use that as your connection but as I said I'm going to use uh, this length of coax here now as you can see I've got the uh, little connectors and spacers fitted on here and uh, these are M3 uh, um, you know uh, you can buy a box of these on eBay you know a little uh, selection of them for just a few pounds on eBay um, as I said uh, pretty standard six millimeters in depth with these uh, little spacers and uh, this is going to be connected on here with some uh, screws on the top and uh, now we need to bend our feed line and uh, kind of uh, measure up where we're going to solder uh, the outer braid of the coax on and then connect uh, the uh, feed line to our main driven element
So here's a close-up of uh, the connection for the main driven element then. I haven't soldered this part on yet, but you can see I've pre-tinned that leg, ready to solder it into place. But I want to chop a little bit off. It's a little bit too long. We don't need all that excessive wire there. But here you can see the kind of gap that I've aimed for there. So it's isolated. It's not touching in any way whatsoever. Now I was just going to show you uh, the antenna doing a Wi-Fi scan but I've decided to take a look at its output on the network analyzer so I've got it here I've made this little jig to hold it because there's nowhere to put uh, a uh, tripod mount on this of course um, so it's just on this simple jig here hooked up to the network analyzer and here is the output I'm scanning from 2 gigahertz here over here all the way up to uh, 3 gigahertz and we've got this beautiful dip in the middle right where we want it for the Wi-Fi spectrum at 2.4 gigahertz we've got 2.44 2.45 there right at the dip there 247 248 so around here it's going to work beautiful for uh, your uh, 2.4 gigahertz spectrum and again this is just a basic uh, build for a uh, patch panel antenna like this one um, a lot of test equipment uh, is coming online now where uh, you can pick up pretty cheap like the Nano VNA and other things like that and uh, you can test these uh, yourself and you can refine something like this so if you wanted to uh, centre this a little bit more on uh, 244 gigahertz let's say that's where uh, you can come in and refine uh, the measurements on your build like this to get it a little bit more centered this way if you want to but if we were to hook this up to a uh, Wi-Fi adapter it's going to work beautifully for you so hopefully uh, you found the video useful and knowing how to build a basic patch antenna like this is really useful to you you can build so many different things off this and using the calculator that I'll link below uh, you can choose any frequency that you uh, want to and as I said I've used uh, this little uh, feed uh, line here transmission line here but you can just drill a hole around there using the same measurements uh, that uh, you've seen in this video and just uh, connect directly you don't even have to go to uh, this uh, you know if you don't want to but uh, knowing how to build something like this uh, really does help you especially if you want to get into the hobby and uh, it's a nice platform a nice simple basic design that you can refine and uh, build off and as I said even I don't uh, when I'm uh, building an antenna uh, you know uh, for the first time and I want to try it out I don't use uh, materials like brass to start off with I quite often use uh, just whatever kind of scrap I can get my hands on just to see if it is a uh, you know a decent antenna that I want to take further and build out of better materials but uh, as I said even this one made out of uh, scrap performs uh, you know just as well as some of those if not better than uh, some of those cheap antennas that you find on eBay so if you did enjoy the video, please give it a uh, thumbs up. Comments or questions, drop them below. If you build uh, an antenna like this, and uh, you know, let us know how you get on. Take some photos and uh, join the uh, antennas uh, forum on Facebook. It's becoming really popular now. With, uh, you know, you're always welcome to pop along there and share your builds. And uh, yeah, any comments or questions, drop them below, and hopefully, you'll join me on the next one.